In the newly released Office of Inspector General report for the Department of Defense, we have a lengthy section on the Open Technology Fund. Um, so US AGM, that's the United States Agency, uh, uh, Agency for Global Media. Uh, with assistance from USAGM's Open Technology Fund, the VOA, that's Voice of America, and Russian and Ukrainian services were deployed to uh, actively deployed circumvention tools, including mirror sites and VPN enabled browsing to provide access to their digital properties, including websites and mobile apps. So they're basically trying to sneak in US government funded propaganda into Russia. Um, by encouraging the use of VPNs. Yeah. Um, but it's like, I might add that, like, so o o t o the Open Technology Fund, I might, I'm going to go. Well, well no, no, sorry, no, 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 there's more, there's okay, more okay, here. Sorry, we'll, get to, we'll get to okay. that. Um, Rary. <laughs> uh, but, like, go on. We would expect no less. Yes. Oh. Um, so we have a huge section here on the, uh, on the Open Technology Fund and the use of um, and, and also, I'll, I'll add in this document, there's significant uh, reporting on um, Radio for Europe, uh, Voice of America, et cetera, mm -hmm. um, basically um, attempting, you know, reporting on mm -hmm. what their activities are and how they're trying to up their game. Mm -hmm. they, I mean, there's an article in that. Um, Navalny's death spurs audience growth and use of VPNs to access news. So, again, this is the open technology fund is a u.s government it's it's a cutout of radio free asia if I'm yeah right. so it was effectively um what so okay so otf was launched in 2012 as a pilot program of radio free asia um and uh, which is a an asset it was set up by the cia um and it was regarded as one of the to pump anti-communist propaganda across um a, a, across asia um, particularly in china of course um and um it is now an asset of the u.s uh, agency for global media a, along with like radio free europe um uh at, at, and voice of america uh and it's funded by over a billion annually and it's uh, it's even though they claim that we're not propaganda, uh, its CEO has previously um, stated that our global priorities reflect U.S. national security and public diplomacy interests. Yeah. So it is it is state propaganda, and there are huge there are huge source of bullshit stories about a U.S. enemy state that then get recycled in the mainstream media. But the, that's that's by the by. The point is is the the OTF was set up um, <clears throat> in order to fund what was called internet freedom assets so in in 20, 2011 i believe it was or it might have even been before it was under it was when when uh, the evil hillary clinton was was secretary of state right she was the, very yeah. involved in the yeah OTF, and so yeah. they were pushing they were effectively the the the, the, the this was a a strategy internet freedom that was con basically concerned with creating shadow internet and mobile phone systems yeah. that US backed dissidents and agitators uh, can use to undermine their governments. And so they created, a, 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 they funded the creation of a wide variety of tools uh, to enable um, their assets on the ground to speak without government seeing what they were saying. Um, one of these tools, as I've written about, was Signal. Um, and funnily enough, uh, Signal towards the end of last year announced that they, um, they I mean, and OTF pumped millions into Signal yeah. and, and helped um, in, ensure that the vast numbers of people downloaded it all over the world. Um, and then it was interesting at the end of last year, um, Signal announced that, well, we, we are barely able to um, keep operating because we don't have um, regular sources of income, uh, which, uh, and it, it's, it's clear that OTF no longer funds them. And I think that's probably because Signal is too good at preventing um, governments from, from including the US government yeah. most crucially, right. is that it's kind of boomeranged on them and they don't like that. So um, they've, uh, they've, they've cut the funding for Signal. I might add that, yeah, that they, that OTF funds a wide variety of, um, uh, 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 of uh, VPNs and other kind of privacy apps and, and resources. Yeah. But it's quite clear, so for instance, like, Siphon is a VPN that, that was heavily pushed to Russians. Um, it's backdoored, so you can see what people are looking at. Yeah, and it's like I think that it, it, the the, the um, there is a there is an OTF report which boasts that like more than two thirds of all mo smartphone users globally have technology incubated by OTF on their devices. Yeah. and it's like, well, I mean, so that means that two thirds of the world's population 
electively have on their phone apps create that that, are, that allow the US to spy on them. Yeah. And what they're saying and what they're doing, and but but not other governments crucially. So that's something to that's something to bear in mind. So um, I ha I have up right now uh, the OTF's uh, supported projects page. Yes. And I think that the drop down menu is not showing on screen. I don't know why, but you can filter the projects by type. So we have app development, circumvention technology, communications, community, mm. education and learning, encryption, infrastructure, internet filter filtering, internet shutdowns, journalism, localization, operating systems, privacy, research, safety and security, just security, and surveillance. All of this openly boasted on the OTF's website. You can yeah. check that out for yourself. I would encourage everybody to do so. Yeah, and if you look at like, I mean, it's, it's, it's interesting. There is a, um, I could even send it to you now if you can. It does, it. It, it, we have a question here. Does it fun tour? It in fact yes, it does. Yes, it does. Oh, yeah, I, I, I was literally yes. about to, I was literally <laughs> about to send this to you. I'm, I've sent it to you on WhatsApp. Get it up on screen if you can. Yeah. Right, so this is a, this is a screen grab from um, a OTF report. If you look on the left, it states that this is all of the, this is some of the, the tools supported by OTF. Um, uh, so signal, siphon, tour, it's all there. Um, Just give me a moment to pull it up. I have a different user open. Yeah. Go on though. Oh yeah, sure. So it's like, it, yeah, you just, it, 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 it also allows, uh, it has like circumvention tools that allow people to continue receiving US propaganda, yeah. um, even if their, their, um, their outlet gets banned. And, um, and as we see, this is tracked by the Department of Defense in that OIG report, the usage of signal to, uh, of, of VPNs to yeah. access Radio Free Europe, yeah. Voice of America content. And it's oh, like, I, I can't get this up on screen. Oh. Okay, I'm that's sorry. a shame. But it's like, yeah, the, the I, it's actually embedded in my article. If you go down, okay, yeah. You, well, you, every I, you know, again, I encourage everybody to check out Kit's uh, fantastic article. Well, thank here. you. It, it really it, blew it, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, like I gather as well that it got shared on. Um, uh, I was told by a, by an informant that it got shared on a um, a forum that's used by intelligence professionals and veterans, and they thought it was great. So, so we have a team I, dedicated to you and I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, absolutely, it's just, absolutely. It's just following active uh, yeah. measures. Yeah, well, it hit the subscribe button, so you yeah. guys should too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's like, well, I mean, I think it's it's always a bit creepy when you get like a LinkedIn, like you know, like I, yeah. I would like to connect with you, and it's like Langley, Virginia. It's like right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, but the, but yeah, the, in um, I think that like the, I mean, it's interesting that. One of our viewers mentioned Tor. Like Tor, um, it's quite clear from the files that were leaked by um, Edward Snowden uh, that that well-known supporter of Ron Paul um, that yeah that they effectively try to the, the the GCHQ and NSA deliberately try to promote Tor. They're very keen yes. that people use it, and it's like, well, that, that I mean, why is that? Well, it congregates everyone with some something to hide yeah. on a single network yeah. <laughs> that the U.S. government is monitoring, right. and it's like it, it's it, it's the, 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 there are all sorts of like I think it, 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 there are all sorts of very bizarre phenomenon that this creates, where it's like the FBI ran a large number of child porn sites, so they were in effect the biggest child porn barons um, yes. in the world and this this and it meant that several people who got who got caught in that dragnet like successfully argued entrapment and it's yeah. just like it, it, again much like with the nuclear black market trade that these security and intelligence agencies which are meant to save us actually create the very crimes they're meant to be protecting us from and investigating yeah um uh, sorry go on. I, I think the larger uh kind of concern here too is that if you download an app like Signal or yeah. Tor, then you presume that you are safe from surveillance, oh, yeah. and therefore you are doing probably going to engage in things which are more likely to be illegal. Yeah, with, well, with, like, with a sense of, of of being shielded from the law. So, it, I mean, I just I might add as well that like yeah, that that kind of sense of impunity it does have a kind of encouraging aspect to it, and it's like I've reported on these leaked emails where a bunch of like. British military and intelligence veterans were having all of these having these very sensitive conversations and cooking up like completely insane plots to like um, just uh, ruin the lives of prominent figures they didn't like yeah. and dig up dirt that could be used to like destroy people's reputations and stuff and, and up to like some of the stuff it was like I went up to like like advocating burgling people's houses and like like physically harming people and over and over again they say well we're talking on proton so it's right. like like we can say whatever we want yeah. and it's unbreakable and it's like well 
It's the same with like um, uh, my dear friend Paul Mason, who I just gather has thrown his hat into the ring in terms of seeking the nomination for Jeremy Corbyn's constituency. Yeah. And I had to, well, after I was at last reinstated on Twitter, I had to remind him that he's locked up on this prison planet with me forever. And I might actually, <laughs> I might actually consider running, running if he gets the nomination, I'll 100% uh, run. From so, exile. Oh yeah, oh, from exile, <laughs> absolutely. And then I will pardon myself. Uh, kit, kit, kits the president in exile. <laughs> yeah, of absolutely. Great Britain. I am, yeah, I am the, the well, we don't have a president yet. But, yes. uh, but, the, <laughs> but the point is, is um, yeah, that uh, uh, he he clearly f- was cooking up all of these completely insane plots to like d- like go after independent journalists, activists, uh, academics he didn't like, yeah. and and like and, and with with a, a variety of, of of confederates and collaborators and and coordinating this with his British intelligence handler, and like he thought that he could say whatever he wanted quite clearly. Yeah, idiot. Yeah. and it's like it's it's driven him completely insane that he got busted, and it's like he 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 has repeatedly with without daring to make the actual to, to actually to, 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 to actually name me saying that he hopes that people are prosecuted as a result of him getting hacked under this this new national security act uh, like wink wink yeah. who, who is he talking right. about and it's just like what well, wanker hey everyone um, if you enjoyed this video or, or any of our other content uh, please give us a follow on twitter or subscribe to us on youtube it will help us beat the algorithm oligarchs thank you